2022, Ascension Episcopal checked off the first season of the Stephen Heron era. Heron was promoted as head coach after seven years as defensive coordinator, so there was no change when it came to their standard. Now with year two on the horizon, there's still more work to be done. We're going to have a lot of young guys, a lot more young guys contributing on Friday nights than we've had probably in the last several years. You know, we've been lucky to have a lot of, a lot of seniors and juniors on the field. Um, you know, really for the, for the better part of the last last six, seven, eight years at Ascension. Um, we're going to have a lot more 10th graders, sophomores that we're going to be counting on. Well, I think the biggest thing is for the older guys to mentor the younger ones and be able to hold them accountable as well as have them hold us accountable in both of that because I feel like that if we – our biggest thing last year was be more of a team. And I feel like if this year we're able to be a team, we can accomplish a lot more. This Gators team is the youngest roster of the program in over a decade, but it's all about the next man up. And the next man to lead the offense this season is senior Connor Edmond, filling the big shoes of Kay Dardar. Edmond is a two-year starter for AES, where he's played both cornerback and wide receiver. Heron says his maturity is what makes him the right guy for the job. And it helps a, a guy that, you know, he can go out and run you know, uh, route concepts as a corner, uh, as a receiver right now, uh, knowing coverage, playing out there in corner as a cornerback, uh, knowing coverage. I, I think all that that stuff benefits him as a as a quarterback. Knowing, you know, not only a quarter as a quarterback, what you're looking at on the defensive side of the ball, but knowing what those what those re receivers are going to do route wise. I think that all all that experience absolutely benefits him. He's an athlete. You know, he's always that guy. At, I don't know, whenever we were younger, he was always kind of good at whatever, you know, good basketball, soccer, everything. He was just kind of that guy. He was, he was just good. You know, he's an athlete, and uh, I think he's, you know, just as good as an athlete compared to everybody else playing football, you know. 